Radical removes the hurdle of exporting the text from our InDesign files for translation and then importing it again. The workflow includes just four simple steps. Upload the InDesign file to Radicum, export an exchange file from it with all the text to send to your translator. Once the exchange file is translated, import it back to Radicum, download your translated document in InDesign file format. Let's open an InDesign file and see more in depth how Radicum works. As you can see, the content of this file presents different styles and style changes that, of course, we want to keep in the final translated file. I save the file in ADML file format and upload it in Radocon. Here we are in Radocon. Let's click on Upload Document and select the ADML we just exported. We set the source language, mine is English. Right now, Radicon is extracting the text from your IDML file and splitting it into segments. Radicon creates a new segment anytime it finds a hard return or a tabulation. If you need to wrap a sentence inside your InDesign document, please consider the use of the soft return character. With the soft return, Radicon creates a single segment and shows the translator where the text has been wrapped. Notice that this is very helpful for the translator to locate the text properly. Using the soft return character is very simple, just type shift plus return. We add Italian as the language we want to translate the document into and select me as a translator. In this step, Radicon asks if we want to use context match to automatically translate the document by using a translation memories. We'll press skip and directly export the exchange file with the text Radicon extracted from your document. Click on the export icon. In this page, you can set to export either an Excel file or an Xleaf file. Xleaf is an open standard used by all translation tools. You should use it if you rely on a translation agency to translate the text. In this video, we use the Excel file format. The Excel file we download from Radicon has three columns. The first one is an ID used for controls, the second has the source text, and the third is for the translated phrases. Let's quickly translate the Excel file and import it back into Radocon. Click on the Upload icon and select the Excel file we just translated. Anytime you upload a translation file, Radocon shows a wizard to let you check the changes made by the import and any errors that may have occurred. Let's quickly check it and click Confirm. Now we click Confirm Translation to lock the file and then generate and download it. Here we have the file we just translated. Let's put it next to the original one and check the results. As you can see, the translated file we downloaded from Radicon has the identical layout and size of the original file.